Mae Donna, I'm back again with a Poundland haul. What I've done is, obviously I've been shopping at Poundland, and I'll show you the bits and bobs that I've got, but I did do a little bit of filming in the shop, but I didn't do any talking, because I thought I'd look a bit of a weirdo. So what I've done is I've done a bit of recording, and I'll do a bit of a voiceover. If you don't want to watch that, and you just want to see me haul, just fast forward to the whole bit. All right, I'm just going to put the attach a video of the shop now. All right, see you in a bit. So here's me walking towards Poundland. Really bad camera work, as you can see. It'll be oh yeah, here's the uh, back to school stationery. That's loads of the stuff all over the shop. The, yeah, I'm just having a look at this book here. I think it was a diary. I was trying to see what it was because I hadn't got my glasses on so I couldn't really see. And up here so I call Winnie the Pooh like stickers and stuff which I thought was really nice. I suppose they could stick on the books and that kids and like, people who are into crafts and that could use them for crafts. And there's a cellophane bag so put all your stuff in obviously. And then again back all back to school so pens, pens, highlighters, just Pens galore, like trays there as well. So you can see I was having a good look round. And then this here, I wondered what it said. It was like, hang on, you'll see in a minute. I'll pick it up in a minute. Now, where am I going? Hang on. Yeah, it. <laughs> hang, on. hang on, in a minute. Oh, yeah, what I want to show you here was mini stuff, mini paper clippers, and mini seller tape. I thought that was quite cool, very cute. And then there you've got like highlighters, they look like the sharpie ones, but I don't think they were the sharpie ones, but I would have thought highlighters are highlighter, isn't it? So there again, there's all your pencils and they, these like pom-poms I thought were really cute, pom-pom pens. There's loads of it. Oh yeah, that's what I bought. I've got one of them, I'll show you. The, did I show you before or after? I can't remember. Anyway, I bought one of them. So that down again here. This is like glitter. Apparently if you push it one way it goes like um, silver and then the other way it goes multicoloured. As you can see I was trying to show you there but because I only had the one hand free I just couldn't do it. But yeah that, I thought that was really pretty. Little notepad. So yeah they, I was still trying there. And there, the, hey did you remember these when you were younger? You push them and they punch. So I was trying to punch, I think it's a cat there. And then I couldn't get it to work. I don't know if I was pressing the wrong button. I kept pressing, so I thought, I don't know if I broke it. I don't think I broke it. So I tried another. That's a pink cat, yeah, she's punching away there. So she was working. And then again, another, it just stopped working. I don't, uh, I don't know whether you, there's a certain way you have to press them, but I thought that was really cute. Encourage the kids to punch <laughs> other pens. And there's a monkey one as well. Did, he, did I get him to work? No, I don't think I could get that one to work. I don't know what I was... Yeah, there you go. Eventually, there's obviously a knack. No, I couldn't get the knack of it, but I thought they were really cute. Then I'm going, scanning up again at all the pens. I thought that was quite a, quite a cute pen. Pen set, even. There's them uh, hole punchers there, so all the hole punchers. Got yellow ones, blue ones, and pink ones. Multicoloured ones, which I just thought were really pretty. Nice pink one there. And then we're going along. Am I moving? Yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> Am I moving? <gasps> yeah, there's like unicorn horse, horse unicorns. I know. I just thought they were really pretty pencil cases if you've got a girl. I haven't got a girl, I've got a boy, so I don't think you'd appreciate that. But then again, like I said, I didn't know what these were brush up paint fillers or something. I wasn't quite sure. And then I noticed like with the pe Pep and Co, is it? They got all like the. Um, shirts for the children which I thought were proper cheap then go mine there then you got pop then you got more stationery pencils and pencil cut um not pencil cut ruler and then there you've got all the back to school clothing just but if you've got little ones it's quite cheap you can keep your kids out obviously jumpers you have to go to the proper school shop so but for the prices you can't beat the prices. If you've got little ones, they scuff all the knees anyway. So three quid for a pair of trousers. That's like a proper bargain. And you've got all the big pens and everything, all the multicoloured pens, which are brilliant. But pen's a pen. I personally think at the end of the day, as long as it writes, but we all do like a big pen. There you go, I'm trying to put it back on. 
And then going round again and looking at all the pop. And there's all sorts of garden sort. There's all the pots and that. Bargain. I'm just scanning down to show everybody all the different sort of pops because just in case you don't know what pop looks like and then crisps. Obviously you do. I didn't mean that. Then skips love skips and then all the chocolate bars. Oh, teasers. Everybody loves more teasers. There's just loads of them. They just, everything seemed a bit random. There's a bit of garden stuff. Oh, the chocolate. I'm not quite sure if that's meant to be there or what, but I just had a quick look while I was there. Rude not to, really. <laughs> so, yeah, there me going up and down and showing you bits and bobs. And there's, here we get to all the um, shampoos and conditioners. Trace may I use that sometimes. To be honest, I, I change my hair shampoos all the time. Not quite sure what the over 25 challenge is about. I don't think you need that for shampoo. <laughs> Unless something's changed and hasn't told me. There's just loads of shampoos. There's the ones for brunettes. And these are the toners I've never used. A hair toner. Or um, Poundland hair dye on my hair. So I don't know if anybody else has used them. Can you recommend them? And there's all the dry shampoos. Tough paste. Basically, every toiletry you could think of, what well, you've got there. As you can see, some are £2, some are a pound. But if you've got a little girl, look at all this cute girl stuff. The hair, it's so pretty. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. I haven't got a girl. But I just like looking at it because I just think it's really cute. Hair bands, Alice bands. Some coconut and lime. What's that, body? I don't know. I'll do Sorry, I forgot to look at Batteries. If you need battery, I think they've got every battery in the world there. Always need batteries. Everybody needs batteries except for when you want them, you can't find them. Tough pastes. Loads of tough pastes there. Tough brushes. Loads of different tough brushes, all brand named and non brand named, and kiddies ones and all sorts. I think there's electric ones somewhere. Not electric, I think it's battery powered. I think I'll zoom in in a minute. There it is. There you go. It's a battery powered one for your kids. I'm showing you all the others. Zooming in. Avengers. These are some really pretty ones. Colgate. I'm pointing out the obvious, I'm afraid. So here's all your women's stuff, like your lady products, which every woman needs. And there they all are, loads and loads and loads and loads of them. And then we get onto all the deodorants and stuff. And the um, hair removing stuff. There you go, I'm just scanning round. Then we come on to the blokey stuff, the bloke shaving stuff, and what have you. Oh, that must be what the over 25 is all about. And then this goes all the way round all the deodorants and the facial stuff, and what have you. And then there we go at the sun center there. Now, there's all the your um, Tablets and stuff, Gaviscon. There's quite a few bits and bobs there. And then you got your stuff for your corns and that, for your feet. Here we go, I'm doing a close up there, I don't know why. <laughs> then I'm going showing you down, was that deep piece I see there? And you got the heat patches. You just got loads of stuff like Lemsip. What's that? Oh, the fat appetite, fat. Not ap food appetizers, not appetizers, you know, the ones that stop you feeling full of tunes, you know what I mean. And then we're going up and up and up, what we got there? Vitamins, got loads of vitamins. And up and up. Did you know that's all condoms and stuff? Anyway, I didn't know that, but there they are. And then there's pregnancy test stuff, family planning stuff, vitamin supplements. And then here we're on to the bath stuff, we've got sponges and then the... Uh, Hair, not the hair, the hand washy stuff. And then just showing a bit, they do sell clothes there, but I didn't look at the clothes because I wasn't looking for clothes. But here's a um, mother to be baby stuff as well for like baby showers, which is all, all the thing now, isn't it? Oh, you know, but if you want all your baby shower stuff, they've got it all here. And I thought you could save some money. And these are baby comforters, I think they were £2. I think I'll scan on the price in a minute. Is it £2? I'm gonna see. you'll be able to see in a minute the price, but, but they're really cute. 
Yeah, there you go. Show. Yeah, the two pounds. Just showing you down. Then you got all your baby wipes, your baby bath stuff, and your baby shampoo. And there's loads of baby stuff. Vaseline, baby wipes. I got the lot. There we go. There you could sell baby food. Straight when you're looking around, all the stuff you've never noticed before. But obviously, I haven't got a baby. So I don't look at this stuff, but when you do go and look at all the toys as well, all the, the pound toys, but if you go and shopping with kids, it, you know, if you give them a quid, they're happy, nannies, all the hair products. I love looking at all this sort of stuff. Because I always lose, I don't know about you, but I lose all this. As soon as I buy it, I lose it. But there again, you've got all the um, toners, you know, these colour, like you're getting pink and greys and everything now, hair dyes. So I've never tried a... What's I shown you here? Yeah, these are chalks for the hair. Kids, oh, there you go. I'll drop that one. <laughs> Try and pick it back up. Put it back. There you go. And again, hair sprays. Like multicoloured stuff. And there's our, that's quite a nice lilac colour. Oh, here's my favourite bit. Here's the um, brand name makeup that I like to have a mooch through. And you do have to have a good mooch through. Because they're not in any particular order at all. I was looking at that, that looks nice. I, did, I don't, didn't buy it, but I just like, now you've got your makeup sponges, loads of them. And then you've got your, like, your makeup trays, your nail varnish trays and everything there. Loads more sponges there, nail files. I like that. I should buy one really, but I didn't. I don't know why. Nail files there. Now, fake nail, uh, you don't call them fake nails, do you? don't know what you call them, but here's all the makeup. And there's their own brand makeup there. Which I've never tried, but I will actually next time. I might buy some because now varnish is now varnish, isn't it? So next time I go, I will actually buy some. The lip gloss is it? Lip gloss is there, and then you've got all your standard toners. I notice I've got some like anti-aging stuff now, so I might pick up some of that. I think it might be a bit late to me for me to be fair, but. It's worth a go in it for a quid, you might as well. I like the packaging, I thought the boxes look quite nice. For a quid, it's worth a go. Yeah, next time I might, I'm in there, I might buy some. Then you've got the nose patches, I like them. We like them in this house. you got face packs. Got some Vaseline there. And then again, it, it was in no order, the shop. But it's Everything seemed quite random. There was more stationery around the corner. Look at all them pencils, there's loads of them. Pens. Post-it notes, I like post-it notes. But these were at the end of the aisle. I think they've just literally spread in all the um, back to school stuff around. Then you've got the bathroom stuff here, like mirrors. Those are quite nice to put your soaps in and that. Then you've got like flannels. And was it bath tat? Yeah, it was like a bath mat there I was trying to have a look at. It's only a small one. But I thought if you've got a small bathroom, that's quite handy. There's all the flannels there. I'm just having a look around at them diffuser things. I meant to buy one of them, but I forgot. I just had a look. I thought I'd buy one of them and then completely forgot. But they've got loads of smellies. Nice nice stuff to make your house smell. Nice candles, candles. Loads and loads of candles. If you're a candle person, you're in luck in Poundland. Loads of cups and mugs. Loads. It, these are just standard. That, that, To be honest, there was nothing special that caught my eye. If you just need to top up, these are what I like. These are pink glasses. I don't know if I'm going down to them. I thought they were really nice. I thought they were quite pretty, different. And these cups there, they're like cup jars. I think they're quite trendy at the moment, aren't they? And then you've got all, you know, they're, they're just boring stuff, but the necessary stuff, you know, spoons, dishes, plates, and all that sort of stuff. But it's nice to know if you want some cheap stuff, where to go. Look, loads and loads. That egg timer thing, I bought one of them in my last tour, but I've lost it. Just don't know where it went. I got it home, showed it in a haul, and then it vanished. And there you got your tea towels in, all your baking stuff. Anybody who loves baking, this is a place to come as well. Just loads of it. But personally, I'm not into baking. I just buy stuff already made because I'm lazy. But I thought they looked quite pretty. They remind me of Calf Kitson. Cafe Kitson, is it, you know, like the flowery type stuff? I thought that was pretty. There you go, down. And then here again, there's like some ornaments. Got some doggy ones there. Can you see the doggy ones and Buddha ones? They have a 50p lot, some of them stuff there. So 
If you think it's not a pound, it's more or less. That's like a candle holder. And you've got some scents there. A few more, and there's some signs there. I think that they were 50p. I oh, they were quite nice. That was the same thing. I thought it was said something different, but it didn't. There's um, like a door stop. I've got one of them. It's actually quite useful. We have it all the time. So there as well, dogs. So I thought that was a candle holder, but it's just like an ornament of a dog. But it's still quite nice anyway. And then if you're into knitting or know anyone into knitting, look at all this wool. Loads of it. And then again, here's all your signs and all your nicey bits and bobs. Just showing you down. I'm going up. What am I showing you here? Oh, is that a rat? That's a hair, isn't it? I thought that was quite a nice ornament. That glass thing there, the bulb, I didn't know what it was, but apparently it is just a bulb. <laughs> it's just like an ornament. So and there you got all your signs there. I do like my signs as well. So and if looking at other signs, there's loads of them. It's really nice, pretty. And they just brighten up the house a little bit. So they've got loads. So I'm just showing you that one. And then just going down. And showing you these little hearts. I thought they were quite pretty as well. And so for a I think they're suitable for like sh they're sh shabby chic, aren't they? I thought they were quite pretty. And where am I going now? Hang on. I must stay in there. Yeah, I'm staying there. Let's move along. Photo, uh, photo frames and mirrors. There's quite a few of them there. Hang on. And I'm showing you some more. They've got some more of them hearts there. And then you've got your... Um, I thought that would be good for like if you're into um, crafting and stuff. Or if you wanted, you could put your jewellery in. And then you've got your um, money tins there. I'm just showing you some more there. There's a little robot one. And then up there's those uh, vacuum storage things, you know, you put your stuff in and then get your vacuum on. There, Cooper's, that's my maiden name, that's why I picked that up. I'm not actually sure what it is. I think it's just a tray, you put bits and bobs in, glasses. I have actually bought a few pairs of these. They're only a pound, for a pound. And then you've got, log like, down there, am I showing you? Yeah, you've got your cases there, and even if you just buy a case for a pound, it's a quid. So I have actually bought a couple of pairs of glasses from here. But I think I need to buy some more because my eyes have gone worse now. And then you've got some pouches there. And then where am I now? Oven gloves and bits and bobs there. And flowers. I've got some dried flowers which I thought were quite pretty. If you've got a really nice vase. And then here you've got all like the Tupperware. I mean it's not called Tupperware is it? Or the plastic containers. I think they just call them now. And I'm showing you up here. You've got your cling film. And all that type of stuff. See, I've zoomed in just to show you <laughs> your sandwich bags because we all need them. There's a clips there as well for your bags. And I'm just going down, showing you what they've got there. Yeah, you can see there. Hang on, why am I? Oh, yeah, that mat at the bottom, five pounds for one of them mats. Here, I've got cat stuff yeah <laughs> Sorry. That's a, two pound that's what i was trying to show you dreamies is it dreamies there? and then you've got your whiskers i think you put the food in there and they play with them but i wouldn't get that for my cat because that would drive her nuts <laughs> and then there you've got all your cleaning stuff all your domestos and whatever you, and your dettol i don't like that one i've had that one before i don't like the smells too strong again at the end of it all, there's more back to school stuff, more stationery. There's just loads and loads of stationery. If you're a stationery lover, there's just loads there. What's that? I am very busy. Yep, okay then. We'll put that back then. What else is that? Too cool for school. I thought that was that was actually cool. I thought again, here you've got your magic sponges and some marigolds there, and all your vanishes. And I thought that was a shake and vac, but it's not. It's a glade one, I think. And then your windoline, more windoline, your sif, your sif wipes, and then your sif again, all your cleaning products, your domestos, your floor, any cleaning product you want, they've got it. That one there, the green one on the right, that's the one you just put on your floor, isn't it? Your vanish, I like a bit of vanish. And then here you got your animal stuff, your pet stuff. I don't bother with them balls for my dogs because we've had them before and you just chuck them and they don't bother going to get the stuff. And you've got your poo bags there. Loads of poo bags. These little 
what I've shown you there, then, to be honest, they're not even worth a pound. They're just like little fleeces, but they're so tiny. They're no good for my dogs. I'll get mine from Ikea. They're cheaper. <laughs> cheaper and they're massive. And here you've got all your treats for your dogs and your cats. There's your cat stuff there. Puppy training mats. And then you've got your fleece spot on stuff. And they, they, them are good for any tin, to be fair. Like, you know, we use them on our beans and stuff. And here you've got all your dog foods. Dog foods, cat foods. Here. Oh, they've got the Felix there. I think I just spotted the Felix <laughs> I never notice. Yeah, oh, now I'll see him a bit late now, but never mind. Got a dreamies instead. And just going along, got all the foods, loads and loads of cat food and dog food. I'm just showing you all. Can you hear my dog barking in the background? And I'm, oh, I'm staying on this bit quite a long time, aren't I? I don't know why. And I'm just showing you all the cleaning products because it's like slip bang. That dirty's gone. Just showing some. Remember them blues you put in the toilet? We don't use them actually. I don't, I don't even know how our system can't, comes off. But I do like them. I, I have to ask Liam how you get the uh, the system off our new toilet. Again, just showing you around. And again. I've got, I mean, I to get some of them, but I didn't. For the cleaning, could I just use the normal little sponges? I know we've got your rubber gloves, those are called Lily. I've never tried them actually. We normally have marigolds, but I might try them. I'm sure rubber glove is a rubber glove. Brillos, like Brillos. Have a good scrub of your cooker. And here, you've got all your fabric, um, fabric freshness and that sort of stuff. Just showing you. Zooming in, zoomy. Got Febreze there, they're two pounds. The all your comfort softness and all that sort of stuff vanish and then you've got all your plug sockets you you know you oh yeah here glue gun if again if you're into crafting i, I assume that's what you're using for then you've got a few car bits and bobs here and that's for your bathroom everything seemed to be a bit random nothing seemed to be i don't know whether they were just trying to mix stuff up but bathroom stuff was there then you got Stuff for your car, mats, or the bathroom stuff. I, d I don't know whether that's on purpose or whether somebody's just got a bit confused. But that's the way I was showing you, going round. Don't worry, this video ain't going to go on forever because at one point it did tell me that my battery, not my battery, it had, wasn't enough room or something on my film. So it will be ending soon, so bear with. If you're bored with this, just scroll on. Here we got all your DIY stuff. As I say, you're not going to get brilliant quality for a pound, but some stuff, if you just need something quick, cheap and cheerful, it'll do the job. You've got your masking tapes. Yeah, it's, as I say, you're not going to get fantastic quality for a pound. But what do you expect for a pound? There we got your car wipes, your windscreen wipes and your chamois there. I was having a look at that. I do need a wipe actually for my car because I can't reach over for the windscreen and when the winter comes I'm going to be struggling. And you've got all your sprays for your car, your tyre. What is it, your tyre, make your tyres go black and all that sort of stuff. Lots of bits and bobs there. You've got your learner, your air fresheners and these for your necks. We've got two of them, we love them. They are brilliant. And for a quid they're worth it. I, I would have paid more, to be fair. And you've got your thermos um, flask cup thingies. And they're all bike stuff. I didn't know they sold stuff for bikes, punches and all that sort of stuff. There's stuff for mice, if you've got mice. Matches. Bags. More bags. Just little mats. Those are quite handy. And what am I looking at here? I'm going round. That was a bit empty, wasn't it? <laughs> There's your mops and loads of mops missing. Oh, so and I'm back again. The first thing I got is these magic sponges. Two for a pound. I bought these before and I think they're brilliant, quite frankly. So, of course, seen them. Got some more. Uh, there you go. Magic sponges because the magic. Second thing, top brushes. Right, you can give it a little teaser there. I, my husband and son have got the uh, electric ones. I don't like the electric ones. To be honest, I find the noise really irritating. 
<laughs> so I just use standard top brushes and they were like Colgate, free quid, a quid, <laughs> free for a pain. So yeah, they're just top brushes. So that's them. Like this. I know it's boring, excuse me, top pulling down. But our old oven glove is knackered and I keep burning my fingers <laughs> out my hands. So I mean I'm not a spe it says no burn. To be honest, I'm not a spending too much for a quid, but it can't be any worse than the one that we've got now. So that one's heading for the bin and this one's a replacement. Quid. Next thing I got is the old faithful chewing gums. Three packs for a pound. Which well, just because of chewing gums and I like them. But the, and the sugar free, which is even a bonus. So I got them. Next thing, I have a little gummy, but I'll show you, I'll tell you, this is very boring, I know, but spray bleach, just because it's spray bleach and we needed some spray, spray, bloody hell, spray bleach, it's a tongue twister, but Domestos, so got that, and how much is that, how many litres, I don't know, 450ml for a quid, so that's that. Right, so I've got for the dogs dent dentist sticks pedigree. How many is in there? Recommended by vets apparently. Now this is supposed to be for the bad breath. There's only five of them. Now I've got two dogs. Frank says Staffy, and Twix is a cross. I think between a you know, Staffy and a Whippy or something. Because she, well, she's not as fast as she used to be, but both of them got bad breath. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll do the job. I doubt it because I had bought them then before, and to be honest, the breath still stunk afterwards. But then again, I suppose if I hadn't brushed my teeth, then my breath would stink. I know you are supposed to brush dogs' teeth, but that I can't imagine even trying to brush their teeth. <laughs> so, just going to give that a go again. You never know. Brush it. And these are for Sandy my cat. I haven't bought these broomies for a while because I used to buy them all the time for her and I think she just got fed up with them at one point so I've been buying Felix ones for ages so I thought I'll try her on dreamies again because they're only a quid and hopefully she might like them again because well, I, said, I think she just got bored but I suppose if you have a treat every day it's not a treat is it That's all, my hair's gone a bit thick. so hopefully Sandy will like them uh, next thing as you know I like the um is that all I've got in there? The Poundland makeup. Lip gloss. Lip gloss. That is, is that Revlon? That's a Rimmel. That's a Rimmel lip gloss. And this Tiggy, do you call it? I don't even know what it is. I'll open it in a minute. Eyeshadow. And I don't know what that is. Is that just a box? But I'll have a look at that in a minute. I'll open it up. We also got, excuse me a minute. May I say about that? I was just being nosy saying what's going on outside, not a lot. This pencil case, how cute is that? I don't I just thought it was really cute. I like the googly eyes. It's just plain simple pencil case. I know I don't really need a pencil case, but I liked it and I wanted it. So they've got loads of back to I mean you'll see you would have seen on that video, loads and loads of stationery. Just loads everywhere. So I got myself one of these, you know, the multicolour pens. I haven't seen these. Well, I suppose I have seen them around, but I remember using these at school when they first come out. They were like the big thing, weren't they? So I got one of them. Also, little hole puncher. This is just one hole puncher. I've got this, basically, because um, if you've watched any of my videos, I do sell um, clothes on eBay. And I noticed one of the other resellers attaches business cards to her clothing because obviously they're um, second hand clothing. So they haven't got um, they haven't got tags on is the word I'm trying to say. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have a look, see how big the holes are on that. Like hopefully for a, for a pound. I thought, I know you can just bodge the holes in yourself. But I thought, oh, if there's a nice little neat, I'm hoping they're going to be small holes. But I've got a feeling they're going to be big holes. So but for a quid. I'm sure I'll find some other use for it. And this, I've never bought one of these from Poundland before. Let's move that back out of the way now. It could be some tidy there, doesn't it? Scratch card. I didn't even 
Well, to be honest, I had seen them there before, but I hadn't even took no notice of them. But I thought, why am I here? I'll grab a scratch card. So I grabbed this. When I scanned it, it said assistance required. So the guy had to come and authorise it. And then he made a point of saying to me about keeping your receipt just in case you do win and it hasn't been activated properly. So that's what I've got there. So I'm going to show you, open some of the bits and bobs up in a minute and show you them and show you this. Fingers crossed. I haven't won on the scratch card for ages. Last time I won a quid, but I did a few years ago win £50 on the National I don't think this is in the National Lottery one. Must be their own brand one, I don't know. But I could win £100,000. Somebody's got to win it, innit? Got to be in it to win it. Obviously, um, I think you have to be over 16. I'm not quite sure. I think it's age restriction because it's gambling. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to get a coin, find a coin and scratch it and show you. And hopefully I might win. All right, see you in a sec. So let's have a look at the stuff. I'm sure some of you are thinking, I don't know what a pen looks like, you idiot. But I'm not... <laughs> I can't, I can't even open it. I just want to show you. No, but let's see. Ta -da. It is. What? It, oh, it's even got pink. Pink pen. I don't, I don't really know what. I suppose kids at school or crafts might use it. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. That is going in my new pencil case. Oh yeah. There you go. New home for that. That's that. Right. Let's have a look at the lipstick. A bit gloss. See if we can see what colour it is. Oh, it's well sealed. No. I sealed this up well. I put the lids in. Hang on then. Let's have a look. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I like that. So, happy with that. I just like lip gloss in it. Oh, so I'm going to open this up and see what this is. I ain't going to clue. I don't I would have thought that just shove an empty box and that'd be a bit weird. So obviously this is I think it's all shadow. I ain't got my bloody glasses on. I like the packaging. I think it looks quite nice. Yep. Oh, yep, solid. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Green. I don't know whether I'm imagining this, but I'm sure somewhere I've seen that green is coming back into fashion. I don't know, have I imagined it or has anybody else seen that? Oh, I think it's an empty box. It's an empty box. Yeah. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, long wearing cream or shadow. So you get that and the box. Okay, that's fine, fair enough. I'm happy with that, but I was curious to know what was in that. And now I know. Bugger all. Don't know why. Why they give you the box? But so let's have a look at this hole puncher. I'm thinking you could use these for crafts, I suppose. People who are into craft work and everything. Cards. Let's have a look. I've got some paper. Oh, it's a heart. Oh, that's oh. Does it say heart on there? This is doesn't. This is hole in one paper punch. I don't think it said it was a heart on there. Oh yeah, it's got a picture of a heart on there. So yeah, I suppose it's for crafts. If you're a card maker, that's quite pretty. It's not what I wanted, but if I ever want to put some holes, some nice hearty holes. Look at that, there you go, look at that. I was <laughs> it's completely not what I wanted, but if you're into crafts and all stuff like that, that is quite pretty. There you go. Now I know. Like right, I said, I think that picture on the front was a giveaway, but I did not notice. So I'm just going to get, like I said before, a coin and see if I've won anything. See you in a sec. Okay. I've got my 20p. It says, uh, bonus game, find, I think they're my gold pieces to win. So is that, I've had to put my glasses on, so let's have a look. Oh, table shaking. Oh, yeah. Ah! I should, if I could figure out how to speed this up. I can't let me see. What's that say there? I can't 
car. Match. What is it? Free to win. Stars. Oh, have we won two quid? What's that? Three stars. It's four stars. Hang on. There you go. Have I won anything? Match three symbols in a row. I've won two quid. I have, not I? Woohoo! There's nothing else in there. What's that? Is that a scratchy one off as well? Oh, it is. No, we never mind. Two quid. Match three in a row to win. Sorted. That's my form. Ooh. <laughs> so I've won three quid. Happy days. Get all the bits off. So like the bloke said, I'm going to, next time I get, I'll put that in my bag. And next time I go, make sure I've got my receipt just in case. Two quid's not. Lows, but two quid's two quid. I got my money back plus a quid. So brilliant. So that's it. That's all my haul. Not a lot of stuff, but again, like I said, what I've got, I'm happy with. Apart from this little bit, I don't really know what I'm going to use this for. It might end up in the charity shop because I can't really see me using it. But it's quite cute. Like there's anyone who does crafts or kiddies, like you know, I think we really like that. And I love me pencil case. <laughs> I just love it. I know. <laughs> Happy with this. Uh, next time I go there, I might end up picking up another one because it ain't going to cost me nothing, is it? Because I've got a free quid there. So, like I said, thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. Um, I'll do another one next month. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted sometimes. <laughs> so, I'll do another um, Poundland haul next month because I'm always in Poundland. So, again, thank you. Bye, see ya.